Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial where I'm showcasing using Python to create a correlation heat map in Power BI, how we can use something like this and actually how we can import some standard data using scikit-learn that you can use to reproduce this. You could then build on this and use this to display correlations with employees, salaries and so on. So the first thing we need is a data set and for this, this example we can actually use um, a Python script. So in the usual get data ribbon um, we can actually use scikit-learn which is sort of Python's premier library for um, predictive data analysis. So we can, we're going to look at importing in the iris data set and the great thing here, I'll import pandas as well of course, Python's premier data um, analysis and transformation tool. Um, but the great thing here is you can actually just copy this code verbatim exactly as it is and it allows you to reproduce exactly what I'm doing because this just gets loaded in, it's a publicly available data set and it's very popular for looking at correlations and it's used to train a lot of machine learning data sets so you can feel free to copy this. It will load to think about things, but you can expand and just load this in. It shouldn't need any transformation. Um, you can check that if you like, but again, it's pretty established um, and it's very handy for us to use. Now we actually need to build our Python visualization and we can do this by selecting the standard PY visualization um, in the native Power BI visual well. And we can just select all of these um, columns because that's what we require from the data that we imported. You see we get some automatically generated code, we get that automatic title from Power BI, but we're going to get rid of that shortly. Now the, the libraries that we need to import, matplotlib um, and the pyplot, which we'll sort of use as the visualization um, interface manager, and we're going to import Seaborn, which is built on top of matplotlib, but essentially it's used for compelling 2D statistical diagrams in Python, and it's very popular, so there's a lot of documentation there. Now we're going to start by just looking at a basic version, and we'll build on this. So we imported in Seaborn with the alias SB, so we're going to essentially um, write a, a visualization that is a heat map, and we want it to be correlated data, we give it a color map. I just selected blues, we will improve in this. Annotation equal to true simply says that we want to view um, that correlation value within our heat map. And we're adding in a title with pyplot. Now, when we remove this Power BI title, it will then actually um, appear at a decent size. And we can look at this data very quickly. And it's really as we expect. So things like, you know, well, you can see that a petal length in each column evaluates to one. That's an absolute correlation. We'd expect that. But you can see how different widths and lengths would affect each other. It's not really the topic of this video. Um, it's a very common data set, but I'm going to show you some other functions. So as you can see, if we put anot or annotations uh, to the Boolean value false, well, of course, we will remove um, that correlation value within text, but we want that to remain there. Um, but it's worth noting there may be occasions where you don't. Now, what are some other ways that we could essentially power this up? Well, like I said, there's documentation on matplotlib and Seaborn. So if you have the use case for um, sort of more statistical diagrams, you can feel free to research. But here's a lot of the key elements. I'm going to change um, to just blues and purples as our color choice. I want to activate a line color to give it a bit more separation and clarity of white and I will make the width to five where that is a pretty segregated line width. Now I can also apply to our actual heat map and alpha so I can adjust the transparency. I'll just put 0 0.85 to give it a slight transparency and then what we can do is change the, uh, the size of that annotation because it's a bit small and hard to read. Um, I'll give it a font size of 20. Now, when you click on the visualization, you get the script editor. Um, however, when you click off that, you can actually see the visualization as you would in the desktop or the Power BI service. So that's us pretty sorted for the heat map. And now we can go in and just 
um, configure elements of the title so we can give it more of a font size. It's quite difficult to see. We can run that script there. And then we can also um, change the weight if we want, where there are text options for the weight, like bold, semi-bold. But a good measure here is that it, really anything up to 1000 controls the font weight. So 500 is a good middle ground for us. And I can change the font. I'll just change it to monospace um, to give it a bit of distinction there. And of course, important to, so it's, it looks good, but important to remember, we can sort of add other visuals um, to our report or dashboard um, and work from there. But it's Python and using correlation heat maps are really valuable in those instances where people want a more statistical approach. Like, comment, subscribe and share.